it's Erin. Let's talk about building great glutes. What goes into it? Well, the glutes are the largest muscle group in the body. So you can train them every day or almost every day. That being said, two days a week should be devoted to heavier weights, lower reps, more power and strength movements, and the rest of the time can be body weight, higher rep, and more activation work. So you see a lot of videos out there that use bands and body weight, and they're doing a ton of reps. I think that is awesome. And I don't think the training should be one or the other, but it should be both. There are athletic type movements and power movements that we can do that really will target those fast twitch muscle fibers. And the fast twitch muscle fibers are those beautiful, round, athletic looking muscle fibers. The exercises that I'm gonna share with you today are ones that you may or may not be doing, but they are ones that are gonna help build athletic glutes. So without further ado, let's get into the exercises. The first exercise is a kettlebell swing. Now I'm taking one kettlebell and I'm going to place it on the ground in between my feet. And the reason for this is there's a tendency when doing swings to actually squat down and then use the upper body to pull the kettlebell forward. I'm gonna rock the weight back and forth just a couple times to get a feel for it. And then my hips, my upper body, everything is going to follow that kettlebell swing. And as soon as the kettlebell reaches the back part of the swing, I'm going to push forward with my hips and my glutes with all my might. Now this is a power move, so it might take you a little bit to get used to. And you wanna choose a kettlebell that is a bit challenging so you don't use your upper body. Now think about the upper body is just stabilizing, and this is sort of like a uh, cable pull through. So it's the same idea, except you're using all of your power from your glutes, your posterior chain, really squeeze those glutes at the top, let that kettlebell float, and then as it comes down, get ready to keep swinging. Four sets of 10 here. The next exercise is a tall box step up. This exercise is a lot more challenging than it looks. Now, what I want you to focus on is not only pushing yourself up with your glutes, but really focusing on that eccentric or negative portion. So on the way down, try to control yourself as much as possible. Now, the goal here is to choose a box um, or to stack up some plyo boxes to the point where your upper leg is well above parallel to the ground. So as soon as your upper leg breaks parallel, you're going to hit those glutes a lot more. Now weight should be evenly distributed across the entire foot and then focus on that negative portion, making sure that knee does not cave in. So you wanna keep your knee in line with your toe the entire time and start with your non-dominant or your weaker side let that dictate the number of reps you're gonna do on your strong side. Now, even after years of unilateral training, you'll probably notice that one side is marketably better than the other, and that's still the case with me, so that just means you need to keep working on that unilateral or single leg training. Now here, again, focus on really controlling that negative portion. So the more you're going to control that negative portion, especially as that leg reaches parallel, the more you're going to hit those glutes. This is an awesome body weight exercise that is basically no strain on the back whatsoever. And just keep it going. I would say three to four sets of 10 to 12 reps here. And it's just going to depend on how long you can really feel that glute activation on the weaker side and really allowing that to dictate the reps on the stronger side. Now this is a contralateral load lunge. This is also known as a suitcase carry lunge. There have been some numerous studies about contralateral loading and how it affects your muscle activation. And so by holding the dumbbell or kettlebell in the opposite hand, you're actually able to activate those glutes a lot more than if you were to carry one dumbbell in the other hand or even two dumbbells. So this is something that your body is not expecting. It's not expecting this load from the opposite side. And what I like to do is I like to perform these standing in one place. So you're not only kind of um, controlling that negative portion, but you're really, really pushing yourself back on the way back. And the weight should be through the heel on this one. So really control yourself on the way down and then think about pushing your entire body on the way up. 
And same idea here, focus on doing your non-dominant side first, and then let that dictate the number of reps you're gonna do on your dominant side. So always with me, I'm gonna start on my left side, and then I'm gonna work on the right side. And there's also uh, mental reasons for this too, because as you start an exercise, you're a lot more fresh on the first side you do and you're a little bit more winded. So this is also going to help you even things out from left to right. Now make sure you're doing the motion the same on left and right. So make sure you're pushing your weight through the heel, make sure you're pushing yourself back with just those glutes. This is a fun exercise. So I'm moving the bench two heel toes away from the landmine. And this is a landmine Bulgarian split squat. And I love doing this at the landmine because this bar is going to give you that extra stability that you would not get from dumbbells. So if you notice, you might tend to be a bit wobbly during this exercise and the landmine takes that wobbliness away and gives you the stabilization to be able to just focus on bringing your upper leg below parallel, pushing through the heel and focusing on recruiting those glutes. Now, keep in mind with this exercise, you can stand nice and tall, but that's not going to hit the glutes as well as if you lean forward slightly. And by leaning forward slightly, you're going to load that glute even more. So focus on leaning forward slightly, keeping a tight core. And then when you switch sides, make sure you're even from left to right, make sure each foot is in the same spot and make sure you're leaning forward with that same angle. Now you can load weights on this. Um, there's plenty of room for a 10 or a 25 and it will not affect things at all. But I would suggest trying it with just the bar first and really feel the range of motion. And you'll notice how nice and smooth it is. The landmine is gonna help guide that range of motion and keep it a lot more even than if you were to just do dumbbells or just do body weight alone. So same idea here, that contralateral loading is gonna help really recruit those glutes. I would say three to four sets of 10 to 12 reps. You can add that pause rep at the bottom to feel the burn. The next exercise is a B stance RDL. Now this is almost a single leg RDL. So what you're going to do is use that leg where um, you, you've got your weight on your toe and so you're just basically stabilizing with it. So you're not gonna be using here, for example, the right leg at all, except to balance. And so everything should be focused on using just the left side and keep the back nice and flat. And what you wanna do with this to really recruit those glutes is kinda tuck your chin throughout. And when you tuck your chin, think about tilting your pelvis forward just slightly. It's gonna look a little funny on the outside, but this is going to help you recruit your glutes so much better. Now, when you switch sides, make sure the ball of your foot is at the arch of your other foot. So you want things to be nice and even on both sides, hands a little wider than shoulder width apart, shoulders nice and straight, and you're gonna do three to four sets of 10 to 12 reps on each side. Now with this weight, I can normally do, you know, 135 pounds or so comfortably. And here I'm doing about 65 pounds. So you're looking at about half the weight you would normally use. And this is going to help you really just focus and isolate on those glutes rather than thinking about having to stabilize and, you know, lifting with other parts of the body. So the goal here is to really just train those glutes. These exercises can be used twice a week. They're going to help improve strength and increase power. And the unilateral or single leg exercises can help even things out from left to right. Oftentimes we have a dominant side and a non-dominant side. And the glute on that dominant side, chances are, is a little bit more developed than the glute on the non-dominant side. So train the legs separately and things will even out. Train your non-dominant leg first and let that dictate the number of reps you're able to do on the dominant side. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click that little bell. You'll be the first to know whenever a new video comes out. Try these exercises. If you love them, please tag me. I really enjoy watching your progress and seeing all the things you can accomplish. Thanks for watching. Until next time, train hard y'all.